Bats are the only mammals that are capable of true flight. True flight is achieved with the motion of wings, and to that end, the forelegs and fingers of bats evolved into leathery wings. Other mammals such as sugar gliders and flying squirrels are capable of gliding from place to place. The patagium is attached to their limbs and serves as a sort of parachute. Gliding could be gravitational or it could be soaring. Mammals that fly usually glide gravitationally, which means they launch themselves at something they want to get to and let the wind help them get there. So in this video, we are going to show you mammals that can fly, amazing animals. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Flying Squirrels Flying Squirrel is a type of squirrel best known for its ability to fly. There are about 50 different species of flying squirrels that can be found all around the world. Best known are North American and South American flying squirrels, which inhabit the North and South part of America and Canada. They can be found in deciduous, con coniferous, or mixed types of forest. Flying squirrels are not endangered. Although they are known as flying squirrels, they do not actually fly. They glide through the air. A special type of furry membrane, called pedagia, stretched between wrists and ankles, serves as a parachute that supports squirrels while jumping from tree to tree. Flying squirrels usually reach 12 inches in length, including the tail, and weigh between 4 and 6.5 and ounces. Flying squirrels can make 180-degree turns during gliding. The longest recorded flight was 300 feet, but they normally travel much shorter distances than that. They usually glide between 20 and 30 feet. Flying squirrels are omnivores. They eat both meat and vegetation. They like to eat different kinds of food. Slugs, snails, mice, eggs, small birds, mushrooms, berries, seeds, nuts, tree bark, and flowers. Feather Tail Glider The Pygmy Glider, the most commonly known as the Feather Tail Glider, is also known as the Flying Mouse, and its scientific name is Archobatus pygamaeus. It is the smallest mammalian glider of all. Pygmy gliders can be found in eastern Australia to southeast Australia. They tend to nest up high in trees. They chose their nest solely on the abundance of food. The feather tail's fur tends to be mid-gray or brown, with its underbelly being a lighter color. It has dark patches around its eyes and a white patch behind its large round ears. Its feather-like tail is the most obvious feature of this creature. This aspect is specifically unique because no other mammal has this. On each side of the tail are two sets of lengthy, unbendable hairs that grow horizontally. Other noticeable aspects of the feather tail glider are its brush-tipped tongue to feed on nectar, its large eyes for nocturnal binocular vision, and its large serrated pads on each toe. Unlike most gliders, the feather tail glider's membrane is between its elbows and knees, not from wrist to ankle like the flying squirrel. The membrane has long hair along its edges. Anomalurus Anomalurus, which are also called scaly-tailed flying squirrels, are found in Africa. There are three genera and seven species, and even though they're called flying squirrels, they're not related to flying squirrels of the Sciuridae family. They get their common name because they have interesting raised and pointed rows of scales on the underside of the base of their tail. These scales may help Anomalurus grip tree branches. Like many gliding animals, Anomalurus are nocturnal and spend the day sleeping in tree hollows as a group. Though they mostly eat plant material such as flowers, leaves, and fruit, they will also take insects. Unlike the Kalugos and the gliders, their babies are precocious, born furred, and with their eyes open. The long-eared, scaly-tailed flying squirrel is a little over 8 inches long and weighs 0.88 to 1.23 ounces, while the tiny pygmy scaly-tailed flying squirrel is only 2.5 to nearly 3 inches long. Kalugo Native to the rainforests of Southeast Asia, the Sunda flying lemur, also known as the Sunda kalugo, spends the majority of its life in the canopy, gliding from tree to tree. The kalugo can glide up to 300 feet in one go and has the ability to maneuver itself through the air. It does so with some unique adaptations. While kalugos are not as small as some other gliding animals, it has a lightweight skeleton that compensates for it. It has extremely light, thin bones. Additionally, most of its body's surface area is the leathery membrane it uses to glide. This membrane, which resembles the surface of a bat wing, extends from the head to the tips of the kalugo's toes to its tail. By extending its legs, the kalugo can soar like a kite. These aren't the only interesting adaptations of the Sunda kalugo, however. Their toes are flattened and work like suction cups to grip tree bark while they climb. 
Greater glider. All silent grace up in the canopy, their little legs and flappy gliding membranes make moving along the ground quite the struggle when they land on the forest floor. Their awkward gait has led this species to being nicknamed the clumsy possum. Greater gliders come in a range of colors from nearly all white to jet black in combinations including gray and white and black and white. And let's not forget their luxurious fur. These fluffy critters have incredibly dense pelts. In fact, they're quite adept at making their own protective coats by wrapping their gliding membranes around themselves and getting snug as a bug. Putting their cute looks and acrobatic abilities aside, greater gliders are an important forest indicator species. They're usually spotted in tall old growth forests and are typically associated with areas that have remained relatively unscathed by disturbances, including fires and lodging. Scientists have found that these critters are often one of the first to disappear from areas that have been disturbed, which means it's possible to use this incredible animal as an indicator to gauge how the ecosystem is going for other forest-dependent animals. Sugar Glider In Australia in the forest lives an animal with an amazing way of moving around. It's called a sugar glider. The sugar glider spends most of its life high up in the trees. But how does it move from tree to tree? It takes a big leap into the air and glides. The large flaps of skin on either side of its body behave a bit like wings. So although the sugar glider can't fly, it uses the flaps on its body to glide through the air for up to 50 meters. That's the length of a large swimming pool. By moving its tail and legs, the sugar glider can change directions while gliding, which means it can land on the right tree. Microbats Microbats are nocturnal, meaning they sleep during the day and hunt at night. God designed these amazing creatures with the ability to produce certain ultrasonic sounds that bats use to navigate in flight and to locate their prey in the dark. Bats, such as Townsend's big-eared bat, produce short, high-pitched sounds and then immediately listen to the echo, the sound that bounces off of the objects and back to the bat. All of this action happens in only a fraction of a second and reveals to the bat exactly where an object is, as well as its size and shape. This bat's echo-locating ability is so precise that it can successfully hunt flying insects as small as mosquitoes, plucking them right out of the air. Mega Bats These are the largest bats on Earth and are usually called flying foxes or fruit bats. There are about 60 species of these bats, and they're found in southern and southeast Asia, East Africa, and Oceania. Unlike smaller bats, they don't echo-locate, but have acute eyesight and a keen sense of smell. The large flying fox is one of the largest of these bats. Native to Southeast Asia, it is an herbivore despite its scientific name of Pteropus vampiris. It can weigh a little over two pounds and has a wingspan of nearly five feet. These powerful wings let the mammal fly as far as 31 miles in search for food. An even larger bat is the giant golden crowned flying fox, whose wings stretch an impressive five feet, seven inches. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.